Good afternoon, class. I'm your professor, Kal-El, or Superman, as I'm more commonly known. And I want to talk to you today about the Superman verse in the Bible. Everyone's favorite verse. Everyone has this tattooed or embroidered or in some other way prominently displayed whenever they want to achieve something. The verse I'm sure you've guessed is Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Now, this verse is translated in different ways by different translations, but generally the translation that's quoted as a Christian mantra is, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. There's only one problem. That's not what this verse says. And here at Superhero Seminary, we want to equip you to be able to handle scripture correctly, even superbly, pun intended. And knowing what this verse says is very helpful in avoiding what we call folk theology or folk religion. And that is the beliefs that arise from taking surface readings of texts in English versions without doing serious study, what we scholars call exegesis, of the passage in question. And Philippians 4.13 is one of those passages. Because Philippians 4.13 does not actually say, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. What it actually says in Greek is panta eskuo en toi indunamanti me. Literally, this translates to everything, panta, eskuo, I am enduring or I am able. This is not the verb I can do. I can do is another verb in Greek, poeo. This is eskuo and it has to do with enduring or being able. And then the rest of the verse, in or through the one strengthening me. So what's this passage saying? Is this saying that you can be a Christian Superman? Is this saying that you can hit the game-winning three-pointer through Christ who strengthens you? That you can knock out the heavyweight champ through Christ who strengthens you? That you can be the greatest fighter in the octagon through Christ who strengthens you? Is it saying you can run that race, you can pass that test, you can get that job? Is this the Christian version of the secret? No. It's not. And a simple look at the context of the passage shows you exactly what Paul is talking about in this passage. Let's take a look at how a modern translation, the Common English Bible, which has come out in the past few years, handles this passage, because I think it does a superb job in this passage in particular. Look at the context. Philippians 4.13 comes after Philippians 4.12. And Philippians 4.12 says, I know the experience of being in need and of having more than enough. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every circumstance, whether full or hungry, whether having plenty or being poor. I can endure all these things through the power of the one who gives me strength. And even the NIV, back when the NIV was originally published, it used to say, I can do all things. Now the NIV 2011, which is the most recent update as of the making of this video, has changed it and corrected this verse. I can do all this through him who gives me strength. All this. What is the this? Well, it's what Paul has just been talking about. It's whether you have much or whether you have little. Whether you're at your wit's end or whether you're at the height of your power. Whether you're saving the planet or whether you're getting beat down by doomsday. Whatever the situation, if God has called you in that situation and put you there, you can have faith that in Christ, through Messiah, you can endure you can withstand, you can come through all these things. And that's the key to this verse and the meaning to this verse, which is obscured in different English translations. But it's that Greek word, eskuo, I am able, I can endure. So the next time you see this verse, you don't have to chide someone for quoting it to give them that little bit of, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. But just know that this is not the Christian version of the little engine that could. This verse has a powerful meaning when read, like all of Scripture, in context, which is what we, the faculty here at Superhero Seminary, always encourage, reading the context of the passage in question in the original languages, if possible, or multiple translations, if the original languages are not available to you, and studying Scripture in its original setting, rather than turning it into a cool verse that we get tattooed or embroidered or that becomes our memory verse for the day. Because remember, verses and chapters were never written by the original author. They came much, much later. So, Philippians 4.13, if it's your favorite verse, it can still be your favorite verse. 
It just has an even deeper meaning. Even when you're not feeling like a Superman, even when you're feeling like you just swallowed a couple of tons worth of kryptonite, know that if you're in Christ, he is the one who is strengthening you to do whatever he has called you to do, but not necessarily anything you think you can do. That's it for this edition of Superhero Seminary. We will see you next time. Be sure to subscribe by hitting the button below or by liking us and following us on Facebook. Links are in the description. We hope to see you back in future classes.